So welcome to today's Technical Corner. I'm here with Gio. Uh, something uh, interesting has prompted today's Technical Corner. In fact, we were at TDT Machine Tools this morning and they were telling us about a new machine that they're bringing in uh, that's going to be arriving in the UK in June, which is for sale, a vertical machining centre. Uh, and we felt the need to talk about this because of we were, we were checking out the different costs uh, of machining centres of this size and felt that this one offered or potentially offers the engineer pretty good value. Uh, it is actually the VMP30A machine tool. From our conversation this morning with Simon and Phil, Gio, what did you pick up from it and looking at the specs? Yeah, I mean, in, in my opinion, um, I'm not that familiar with these machines, I've got to be honest, but um, in my opinion, you know, it's a very small footprint um, and floor space is a premium. Um, in regards to the machine, it's got the latest fan at control. Um, and, you know, we, we've been discussing uh, prior to, to, to this uh, review, um, how many people do actually um, need a meter in the X and how many people that have got a free access machine with a meter in the X actually fully utilize that X axis at all times. Getting and an extra 240 mil, are you actually getting the best out of it? I, I would guess, at a guess, that 90% of the components that are manufactured in the UK are within that uh, size, you know, or smaller. What, wasn't there a, a figure at some point, a 500 by 500, wasn't that a statement made somewhere that is pretty much 90% of components within the UK fall within that size? Yeah, I believe so. And, and, and within that size, that's not to say you can only make one component and that's it. You know, we, you look at aerospace components for the engine parts, for example. You know, you can some of these reviews that we've done on work holding where you can present multiple components to the spindle. And, and, and nowadays, everyone is looking for a, re, a fast return of investment. Why buy something that you don't need? You know, you buy something that you need. Um, you know, you wouldn't go and buy a larger coat than you need. Uh, because you might want to. Yeah. Well, I, well, I would if I wanted Joe to borrow it for a day. I'd need to, <laughs> but you know, let's not bring him. Did you know the I, point I, I'm trying to get to? Yeah, yeah, I, I know what you mean. And I and I think that at this point, in, uh, it's important to say that the actual uh, the strokes on this particular uh, VMP machine that we're talking about is 760 in the x-axis and 420 in the y. Now I know with our technical corners and most of our features, uh, a lot of you guys are interested. In, what's the price? What's the deal? We are going to come to that. So. Uh, and it's something worth waiting around for because it's very competitively priced, hence really the reason for this. And you've got 510 mil of stroke in the z-axis. So like you say, it, 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 if you have got a meter machining centre and you aren't maximising that table, when you make your next purchase, do you need to go that big? I suppose that's the question, isn't it? It is, it is a question and I think that, you know, everything's getting more competitive, you know, all the time. People are looking to, 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 to save money. Get more um, spindles in a, a, a smaller area. Well, that's another great point, really, Paul. You know, you could fit maybe two of them machines in, in an area that maybe previously you only had one. That's mm. an extra spindle doing the same parts that you were doing previously that's huge you know and 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 when you start breaking that down into figures of money and ultimately everyone is running a business to make money that's what it's all about bottom line is it um, is that what we do right, we, we try do. i think we enjoy it though it, we do and, and on the point let's uh, let's then pause this uh, here because um we've talked about the strokes and we've talked about uh, yeah the, the machine as, as a makeup and the configuration but what about things like the spindle here well we've got a 10,000 rpm spindle on this on this particular model i know that there is an option to go for a 12,000 12, it is a um, it's a bt oh it's not a bt40 it's a din40 didn't we pick din up 40 yeah. it's a din40 so whether you're running bt40 tooling din40 tooling I, I believe it's just a change of a, a pull stud to go from one to the other but you'd need to we check believe the tdt so, yeah. machine tool yeah, uh, you've got an 11 kilowatt spindle power. This is always an area as well that people pick up on and go, 11 kilowatts, is that a lot? You know, some machines take 24 kilowatts, 30 kilowatts, some might say seven and a half and say there's a lot of power there. Yeah, this is another topic, isn't it, really, Paul, that we discussed? And I think it's strategies that have changed over the years. You know, in the olden days, they used to use rippers to do the roughing, and obviously you needed that power to be able to cut the parts with a ripper because it's generating a lot of force. But now um, they're cutting the parts with high, high, high speed, um, small cuts, um, and the strategies have, have totally changed. So you don't necessarily need that power anymore, do you? And it's down, it's down to tooling as well, work holding the whole course, collective. Yeah. But the 11 kilowatts, uh, it depends on how that's measured. 
is it continuous rating? Is it a, is it a, is it a forty percent rating? Not sure. So well, that's what I mean. <laughs> this is the area yeah. that when, when we look at kilowatts and powers of machines, you know, you do need to talk to the guys at TDT Machine Tools to find out more. But on the on the face of it, it, it looks like a, a pretty powerful fast spindle as well. Twenty four uh, tools as well. Twenty four tool station, twin arm tools, so that yeah. you've got the um, yeah, so you can be you can have one tool picked up. It's which very is a quick. High speed tool change. Coupled with that, you've got 36 meters a minute in the rapids. Again, there's often the point made, well, how fast is that? How fast does the machine accelerate? Again, th these are all uh, variants that are always interesting to talk about. But generally, that looks like a pretty healthy um, speed or, or, or performance in terms of uh, speed. The fanet control is obviously a popular control, and that's what this machine is equipped with. Um, if we carry on here. Yeah, you've got the fanet control on this machine. And there's also... Uh, this is standard factory equipment that's fitted on the VMP. So you've got the hand wheel, you've got the coolant gun, you've got work light, flood coolant system, spindle oil cooler, auto lubrication, swarf conveyor and bin, um, preparation for through spindle coolant. A uh, point made by the guys this morning, sometimes when they're competing, when they're selling machine incentives, they other, uh, some of their competitors offer the machines, don't they, without some of these extra features on and then add them on. So then uh, obviously the price then lifts up. Uh, but through spindle coolant, having the prep for that, that's good, isn't it? Of course it is, yeah, definitely. And, and everything comes as standard with this machine. So the preparation is there. If you need the, 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 the through spindle coolant, the preparation is there as standard. Um, and it is good because, again, um, you know, certain components um, that you're doing if you're doing a very deep hole and you need through coolant through the U drill or whatever the case may be. A lot of these new cutting tools um, have, have, have the, the prep for the, the through spindle coolant. So you can utilise the cutting tools as well and get the faster feeds and speeds and the benefits that come with that. And it's good to know that it's an option for the future. Sometimes you might buy a machine and if, you, if it's not prepped for it, you, you, you pretty much, uh, you could be stuffed. And obviously you get your technical manuals. It's, it's a fully enclosed machining centre. Um, so the VMP, so here we go, this is the, um, this is the point that I'm sure a lot of you have been waiting for. Uh, additional FANUC options that come with it, you've got auto power off, you've got increased memory up to um, 1,280 metres, you've got 512 kilobytes of, of memory there. Uh, there are further options available that you can have like rotary tables from Nikon and Kitagawa, tool setting, spindle probing from Bloom and, and Renishaw and Heidenhain, air filtration from Filtermist, all of these things that you would expect. But special offer price for stock machine, 49,750, so that's under 50K. I think that prompted us into having this conversation today um, because, you know, how many machines that are the 760 mil in size with the equipment that um, they're talking about here, here at TDT Machine Tools are priced under 50K? You know, no, that's, no. that's a quick comment below, let us and know. And just to point, Paul, this comes with installation included. There's no hidden cost. That's installation, a day's training, all of the standard options that we've discussed. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Like you say, it comes with the delivery oh. and the warranties, and of course here uh, we have the contact details of uh, TDT Machine Tools if you're interested in finding out more. So hopefully that's given you a little bit of a, a flavour for a machining centre. That if you're in the market for a machine around about a metre, do you need a metre machining centre? Could you go for a 760? Uh, and if you if you could, uh, do you use the Fanet control? Have you got Fanet programs already? Uh, you know, is this a machine that could be of interest to you where it's less than 50k on the deck? It's a great, it's a great deal and, and I think that, you know, do your calculations, see how quickly you'll get a return of investment from this machine. Mm. Also, you know, TDT Machine Tools um, are backing this up with a full solution. They offer work holding and all the other bits and bobs that go along with the machine. Good stuff. Thank you.